Whether you really dread them or you've already bought up all three of them, The Sims 4 Kids are here and they're probably here to stay. Today we're going to be addressing what the team has said in terms of the future for the kids, what it could mean for Sims 4, and also some drama that's spilled up on Twitter. Before we go ahead and get started though, my name is Simmer Erin. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, info videos, as well as Paralyzed. And my question for you today is, have you bought any of the kits? Do you plan to buy any of the kits? And what do you think about the Sims team response to the kits? So we're going to get started because the Sims team actually did answer some questions. They had a tweet about it and then they had a forum. Now I will say I am a little bit late to this because I have just been so daggone busy. And honestly, there's been news even for Paralyzed. There's been news for Sims and it's just been crazy. But regardless, I do hope this is still helpful to you who might not be aware of this. So the Sims team did answer these questions and we're going to go through the top five questions. Then we'll talk about some things that weren't answered in the drama that ensued. So, so Simmers, the Sims 4 kits are here. Many of you watched the live stream yesterday and had some questions. So here are the top five questions and answers for you. What do you get with kits? Each kit is unique. The Furback Fit Kit introduces 90s inspired athleisure wear cast items. The Country Kitchen Kit adds all new retro vintage inspired rustic kitchen items. And the Bust the Dust Kit, which I can never say, has a whole new dust feature that adds cleaning items and dust to your Sims homes. Kits are a bite-sized content pack with big possibilities, endless ways to play powered by the amazing creativity of you, the players. Okay. Let's move on. Who are the kits for? We created the kits with all players in mind. You can think of kits sort of like a buffet. There's lots of options for you to pick and choose exactly what you want. You can spend a lot of time building your dream home while your friend might be a fashionista, while your friend might be a fashion cast artist, and your other friends love creating stories, which are kind of hard to do, but we'll move on from that. Not every simmer plays the same way and we hope you find a kit that is perfect for you. How often will the kits be released? There's no set timetable for the kits. We wanted to give free choices for the first release to show players a different variety and versatility, but that's not how many we'll release every time. Sometimes we may release only one. And since there are cool new things happening all the time, kits allow us to add smaller, more focused content choices to the game a little more frequently. Am I ever required to purchase a pack before I purchase a kit? Nope, kits and packs are separate. Kits enhance the way you like to play and will not be required to purchase packs to access kits. You do have to own The Sims 4, obviously, but will never require you to buy a pack to access content for a kit. And then finally, a weather, and finally, a what other updates can we expect? We are always looking for ways to add the game to keep it fresh and fun for everyone. Like when we dropped 21 new pieces of content created by our custom content creators, or did you hear? We're adding bunk beds. Yes, Sims team, I'm pretty sure we heard about that. So much room for activities. Not everyone will want clothes, kitchen items, or dust added to the game. But for players looking for more content, we can create kits faster than packs, which means greater possibilities with all the new content we can create to add to your game. You know, I do try to be fair and balanced on this channel, but there are some days where I feel like I'm not very fair and balanced, and I'm gonna be honest here, I didn't like most of these answers. Number one, I will say, what do you give with kids? That's kind of a basic thing. If you watch the live stream, if you watched, of course, all the game changer reviews, if you watch other people's reviews, it's easy to find out what you're getting in kits. But aside from that, I feel like it was such a, just a marketing thing. I feel like they said something like, there's more possibilities with kits, right? And I do get it. I do get that for some players. And I've heard people say, Erin, I really like these kits. And you are allowed to like the kits. But I don't think them saying there's way more possibilities with kits is quite the right way to go. Especially my issue is where they say it helps you tell stories. I don't really see how little kits with a little bit of gameplay helps you tell dynamic stories. You know what does help tell dynamic stories? A base game with Sims with better personalities, nuanced personalities, a base game that has more depth to it. So after you play a pack, you don't get tired of it within a week because there's that base game to really hold it up. I don't think these kits are doing what they say they are. If they say just focusing, of course, on the aspect of it allows players to pick and choose, fine. I guess you could argue that. Although I will say, why in the world is the pricing for half a stuff pack with the US, by the way, that doesn't even 
concern all of you who have higher pricing, but it's for a third of the content. So while it is true that you could pick and choose things if you want to, I would argue it does not do very much in terms of adding way more possibilities to your game. If you're a builder, it could potentially, maybe they will go a little bit further out and introduce some things with kits that are unique. Another critique I had about kits initially was that I feel like not that the what they have is bad, but it feels like stuff that easily could have been added to other packs. And I feel like if they're gonna do kits, they should try to be a little bit more innovative and risky. Maybe they're just playing it safe this round. Maybe they will do something with cast where they actually give us some items more for masculine sims, maybe some more for some other ages besides just young adult female. It just overall felt very safe to me. And if they are gonna do kits, I would like to see them really expand that use. And this idea that it's going to bring so much more possibilities, really don't buy it. What I do buy is they say, we can create kits faster than packs, which means greater possibilities with all new content. AKA, we can make them faster than packs, takes less resources, takes less money, and we can find more dollars out of you. I just have a big problem with it. If they're gonna do kits, I think it should be fairly priced, and I don't think the price is very fair right now. So over with my rant, there actually was unfortunately also a little drama on Twitter. So I'm gonna talk about that quickly, and then we're gonna kind of move on from that. So the drama, so the drama on Twitter unfolded with a now delete, deleted tweet. I cannot 100% confirm this, but a lot of simmers were confirming that this did happen. And so this is the DM I got and also some of the screenshots that I found. Someone said that those were not the top questions and they said basically they weren't happy with all the things that the Sims team has addressed. They asked, why is the pricing so high? Why is every build object a recolor? Which by the way, I'm going to discredit because I do not believe that every build object is a recolor. I do think it's very similar to some things we have, but I don't think it's a recolor. Why is the pricing different in every country? The other two I definitely agree with. So the Sims team apparently, and I don't know for 100% sure, but this now deleted tweet that has been retweeted several times, it happens. That was their response. Now granted, there was actually a response that it still was still up there when I looked, minus the deleted tweet, and here's what the Sims team said. Again, this was still public. You're absolutely right. That GIF response, or GIF, however you say it, was an error sent to the wrong tweet. These are valid questions, and we have and will continue to present these concerns to the team for future kits. So all I know is a lot of people were retweeting this deleted tweet, this deleted really bad response, and the Sims team's response on this one was still public. So something clearly happened where they claimed to have sent the wrong response to this person, where they just said, it happens. Now, I will say a couple things to this. I used to work as a social media specialist and I wasn't too good at it. And I made some mistakes and I sometimes had to delete things. I didn't really do an offensive reply or anything like that. But I sometimes would, you know, tag the wrong thing or something like that. Things like this do happen, especially in high pressure environments, especially like EA. And I feel like it is very possible that it was a mistake. However, I know some other people do not think it was a mistake. And some people thought it was a, res it was a sarcastic response back to the simmer. I don't usually delve in this kind of rumor, but it was really prevalent on my feed and I felt like it was going, I wanted to address it because like I said, the one tweet did remain public. Clearly something did happen. I think overall the Sims team has been doing better in terms of public messaging, in terms of the live streams, but I feel like sometimes I just want some real talk, right? The forum, not real talk here. I feel like they need to address the pricing. I do. I think they need to just address the differences in the pricing and why packs or kits are priced the way they are. And I really just feel overall that even though a lot of simmers are enjoying these kits, I, I want to see some real reasons why they're doing this. I do think it, it, it has a lot of possibility to do better things that it's doing right now. That isn't to say that everything that was done already was poor. But what I'm saying is I just don't see right now for the reason for the existence of kits if they end up spending more money. And if it feels like they're not really trying to be more innovative and add things that are a little bit more niche, you could argue that vacuuming is a little bit more niche. 
But I digress. So as far as kids in the future of The Sims 4, I see it kind of working like The Sims Restore. I don't necessarily think that kids will detract from them releasing more DLC. I think it's just going to be kids on top of DLC. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to have a constant stream of new content coming out in between packs. Here's my worry, and some other people have pointed this out. The more content we get, the more glitches we get, the more lag we get. And unless and until those fixes really catch up, it's going to be challenging. I don't think they ever can catch up, guys. I, I think they can make some core improvements, but I really think it would take really slowing down in content production. And that's why I'm so upset about kids. I was upset because I feel like this is a time where they need to slow down the content production. Not just I am aware that, of course, other people are probably working on bug fixes, but it's harder for the people working on bug fixes the more and more content you get. I know that there are some controversies there, but I just wanted to give my own opinion on this. And I also wanted to show you what they have answered and not answered about kids. I know that some of you that are watching this, a lot of you have downloaded kids. And I want to be clear, I'm not shaming anyone who has downloaded kids, even though I personally am against the idea. I think that everybody should feel free to enjoy the content they want to enjoy. I am more worried about the future of the franchise rather than just the kids themselves. So that's my two cents. But like I said, if you are playing the kids, I really do sincerely hope you're enjoying them because you might as well. And I do hope everybody respects everyone's right to either buy the kids or not buy the kids. On that note, I'll let you go and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.